Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be planning in my big catch-all happy planner for the week of April 18th through 24th. April is flying by fast and I am not enjoying it because we're getting closer and closer to finals week. But I'm going to plan out my week. I don't have anything major um, set for these days. I think it's going to be a pretty normal week which I'm excited for but I do have a concept for this spread and I hope it works out. There is a large possibility that this will be an epic fail, so watch along as I attempt to make this spread happen. I have these stickers from Pipsticks, which are really cute, like mid-century modern couches. Um, there's some little cats and throw pillows, chairs. It's just furniture, and I was excited to use this one. What's it called? Best seat in the house. So I was excited to use this one, and I wanted to do like a mid-century modern theme for this week. We'll see how well I actually achieve this. It's going to be like mid-century modern meets maximalist. <laughs> so I have this scrapbook paper, which is from American Crafts, and I already cut two two-inch strips of it to go along the top of these boxes. I'm thinking I might need to make it a little bit smaller, but I have the scrapbook paper cut. And then I have this washi tape. I know it's going to be a lot. Uh, I was thinking maybe I'd do down below it and then have the couches like at the bottom of the spread. Um, with the washi tape, I think I might need to cut these a little bit smaller. I also have this Happy Plans book, which I probably won't end up using because I feel like that's going to be too much. I know, Caitlin, that's where you draw the line. Um, but it's nice to have on hand because I think the colors are very similar to these. And then we'll just do black boxes or maybe gold boxes. Keep it simple with the boxes because it's going to be a lot overall. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the scrapbook paper down to like maybe one and a half inches because it just feels overwhelming right now and then I will get started with the video. I cut the scrapbook paper down and I think it's at a much more manageable size. I wanted to kind of go a little bit lower than the line just to give some breathing room. So I'm gonna take my Tombow Mono Dots adhesive and just cover the back of these strips. I'll end up cutting off any excess at the end, but I just want it to stick nice and evenly to the page. And once I've covered the back of that in adhesive, I'm gonna place it. I'm going to attempt to get them even on both sides of the spread. I want this one going out into the sidebar because I know the other one's gonna go all the way across the page, but I don't want it going into that center margin. Not entirely sure why, but it just didn't feel right. As you can see, I'm planning pretty far ahead because I haven't even filled out last week's catch-all yet. And maybe that's why I think this is going to be a pretty normal schedule week because I, I just don't know what's coming yet. I have an idea, but we will see. Things will eventually get added into the schedule as the week goes on, but I just need to have a basis to plan with right now. I feel like I've been cutting it close to the wire with all my spreads lately. And it's hard to make content and also just like think far in advance if I don't have the planner already finished. So I'm just trying to get things done nice and early this this week. Getting everything done the previous weekend. This one went off the edge of the page so I don't have a problem just cutting this off the edge of the page. It'll go into that little margin area over there. I think I wasted a lot of Tombow adhesive on these um, excess areas on the strips but it's fine. As long as what I need on the pages is on the pages I can't complain too much. So now that this is in place, the next step is going to be applying this washi tape, which is from According to Allie, it's a really funky gold spotty dotty. And I'm applying that right below the scrapbook paper. I will take an X-Acto and cut it so it doesn't go into this margin area just in a minute. But first I want to apply it. I think it'll bring out some of the gold foil tones in the furniture and really trust the process here. Um, I know it's going to end up being a lot and that's how I want it to be. I want it to be a lot. I want it to be kind of gaudy mid-century modern. So we're intentionally going with lots of patterns and lots of different textures and I just want to break out of my comfort zone here and get a little crazy with the stickers this week. So I'm going to get the X-Acto to trim that. I just use the regular X-Acto knife. I know some people have fancy like retractable X-Acto knives. 
I wish I was one of those cool people, but I am not. I got the regular one. Maybe one day. Or, you know, honestly, I could go out and buy it if I really wanted it to, or if I really wanted it to. But this is tried and true. This is the classic X-Acto knife. So these are in place, and I really like the clashing patterns. I actually really do like the clashing patterns. I'm going to take my pip stickers out of their little pip sticker sleeve. I will leave a link down below in the description of this video for the pip sticks website. They have a lot of fun sticker designs that you can't find a lot of other places because, you know, they make them for themselves. But they have some really cool designers working for them because they come out with, like, stickers you would never expect. I, I take a lot of inspiration from their designs, and the sticker quality is great. I'm going to put these along the bottom line rather than the edge of the page because I want to give them a little bit more breathing room, especially because I keep breathing room up here at the top. And we're starting out with just some couches. I should take my jelly roll pen and get rid of some lines though because I can see through this one and I can see the line through it. And that's not what I want. I want like couches that don't have random lines through them. It feels like, okay, so in describing how I'm setting this up, it might be a little confusing because we're gonna have a lot of different furniture down here at the bottom. And why would we have all this furniture in one place? Um, why would we have like three couches and five chairs or however many pieces of furniture we have here? Perhaps this is a mid-century modern furniture store. Um, we're just, we're just thinking here. What, what are the possibilities of this spread? Could be a furniture store. Um, I don't remember the last time I was ever in a furniture store. I always joke with my sister about the fact that our mall, the mall that we go to, has a furniture store in it. Like, on the first floor of this, like, really big shopping mall, and it's, like, luxury furniture. And I'm like, who goes to the mall to buy luxury furniture? It's, like, next to a Forever 21. It's the most confusing experience ever. Um, and there's no one ever in there. Like, we always look in when we go to the mall. Uh, and I'm tempted to go look, look at couches at the mall now. Uh, I don't think they have mid-century modern couches. It's, like, again, luxury furniture. Nothing I'd be able to afford. I got my fancy Walmart futon, which kind of looks like this one, uh, with minus the florals. Closer to that. It's gray. It's velvet. It's a fun couch. Um, it was my first big furniture purchase as an adult who had just graduated college. I bought my own couch. Um, so I'm placing chairs, and I kind of want them to alternate directions because I don't want them all to, like, face into the center of the spread. So I'm kind of setting little scenes, and there are some plants in here that I can scatter throughout. There's also some, like, cats and dogs. Nope, they're just cats. Okay. Um, so we can play around with that. It's a lot. I mean, I don't hate it, though. Um, this red, like, floral burst couch is kind of insane but it, it is a pop of color. I don't think I'm gonna get the last one in there. I just don't know if there's enough room, but we can build up the atmosphere with some of these plants. And maybe the cats could be like sleeping on top of functional boxes, or I could save them for another time. There's also throw pillows in here, which I don't really have a need to put throw pillows like on the ground, unless the idea behind the throw pillows is that I layer them onto the couches. Like, is that what I'm supposed to be doing here? Am I supposed to be building a scene? I can try that. So we got all these little throw pillows. <laughs> like, okay, throw a pillow here. You can like see through them. You can see the couch pattern through them. Um, but it's not bad. And I think it makes it a little bit more individual. So I'll add a couple of these in. Because when else am I going to get to use a bunch of tiny throw pillow stickers? I'm going to take this blue one and maybe put it on the red chair. Red red and blue. It's a cool color combo. Um, and then we'll take some other ones. The, oh, this couch does not need a matching throw pillow that is that bright. I'm going to put this one over here. 
maybe a pop of blue to break up that pink couch that we have. I'll take this little pink circle sticker and that one can go in this red chair. Although it feels weird having these two circle stickers like right next to each other. There's, there's something about the shape of them combined that looks like little eyeballs and I didn't like that. Um, so maybe this one goes on this chair or maybe we just don't use it all together. That's probably a better, better bet. Okay. So there's a lot of cats on here. I mean, we can fill in some of the blanks with the cats. I, I just have a lot of ideas. Um, and some of them are good ideas and some of them are not so good ideas. And at the end of the day, I think it's the not so good ideas that make, make life a lot more fun. So, oh, I could even put the cat on the couch. You can't really see its face though. So it's just gonna sleep on the floor. We've got some black cats and maybe this one could go on the couch over here. Why are there cats in my furniture store? I don't know. Um, I'm allergic to cats. So if I ran a furniture store, cats would be the last thing I would want in my store. Plus they'd probably ruin all the furniture. Um, and if you're trying to sell furniture, that's not what you're going to want. But I don't know in this hypothetical situation where I sell furniture, um, maybe I also am not allergic to cats. Got this big stack of gold colorful boxes that I'm gonna use to mark things out. And on Monday, I have a meeting. I just like to include some more details about meetings. So I try to pick a bigger box when I'm marking one of those out. And I'm gonna weigh out some lines because I want them to get closer up to this top section because I don't want them all to be in the middle row. I kind of want them to just fill the space. So I'm using this thick whiteout Easy Correct. I buy them in bulk off of Amazon. You can get them for a decent price. So got a lot of these on hand. Um, and then after that, I also have class. So I'm going to take one of these to mark off class. And what else do I do on Monday nights? That's the real question. I don't think I have anything else going on on this Monday. I'm a little irritated by the lopsidedness of this box, but there's not anything I can do to fix that. So I'm just going to have to let it be. Um, and there's a lot going on. Maybe it'll distract from my lopsided box. Tuesday, I have class that I teach. And I probably should just like white out most of this this line if I'm going to start everything kind of up at the top of the section. So I have class that I teach and then I have office hours which I sometimes mark and I sometimes don't mark. This week I'm going to mark it just so I have a rough idea of where everything's falling on the schedule and then I go to a seminar which is like a class that I take whiting out some more of this line. And I'm also thinking about like how I could incorporate like quotes into, into this spread. Okay, so we've got this going for us. There's a possibility that I'll have a meeting on Tuesday night. But I'm going to wait until I'm closer to mark that because I'm just not 100% sure. And I don't want to waste a box if I don't have to. And then on Wednesday, I have class and I have work. I'm mainly using this size box. I feel like that's the most comfortable size for my writing. I used to use a lot of these smaller boxes, but I write pretty big, honestly. And I think that's one of the reasons that I like the big size planner so much is because I'm like a big writer. Um, and if you're someone who writes really small, then you don't need this much space to play around with. But if you're struggling to fit everything within like a classic size planner, the big has a little bit more extra room to play around with. On Thursday, I have an appointment and then I have work. So I'm going to do another two boxes over here. As you can see, I just go through these gold colorful boxes so quickly because I have so many things to mark. And I was talking to M the other day, the other week um, on our podcast 
And she was like, have you ever just tried not putting boxes? And I'm like, no. Number one, writing directly on the Happy Planner paper tends to turn out like a nightmare because it's kind of glossy, so my, my ink smudges and it kind of bleeds and I don't want to deal with that. Um, and then the second thing is that I like it all compartmentalized. So I like having each task kind of in its own little own little containment, um, if you will. It really helps me kind of break up the day rather than just having like one continuous list of things that have to get done or places I need to be. So I've got that and then there's a meeting on this Tuesday. And then after that, I think my friend's birthday dinner as well. So I'm going to want an extra box to mark that. I think we're going out to dinner as like a whole group. And I'm not sure if my boyfriend's going to be in town this weekend. He had talked about it, um, but that's always subject to change just based on both of our plans because I, I tend to get busy um, throughout the course of the week and then the weekend I like sleep the whole time or I have work to do, that kind of thing. On Saturday, I don't think I have anything in particular, but I'd like to run some errands and I should also place some boxes in the case that he will be here because then I can use them for any like activities we're gonna do. I'm taking one of these to mark Sunday, which is gonna be trivia because we always go to Sunday trivia. I'm just waiting for the day when they have an art history themed round. There's always one round that's like wordplay, which is my favorite round that they do. Um, it's like, all of the answers start with the letters B-U or, I don't know, um, all of the words rhyme with the word round. It, it's fun because like there's a, a code to it and I'm decent at things like that because I can, I can follow patterns pretty well, but like sports trivia, I've never been good at. Um, don't, don't ask me about sports. Or like 80s movies, I've never been good at that. I wasn't alive in the 80s, so I think I get a free pass on that one. But yeah, trivia is fun, but difficult. And I'm just placing boxes because I kind of want them to be equally distributed amongst the days this week. Not everything is going to have like a box or some things might have boxes and don't need boxes, but that's okay. Oh, podcast on this Friday. So if we're going out to birthday dinner, I might need to reschedule it. I don't think this is an episode that goes live. I think it's a recording, but I'm going to place a box here just in case. And maybe Em and I will reschedule things depending on our schedules. Or, you know, I can just go out to my friend's birthday dinner and then come home a little bit early and film because we record at like 7 p.m. So there's still time to do stuff before that. This is looking pretty fun. I'm looking in the Happy Plans book because I want something else. It feels a little plain, um, that all, all things considered. So I'm like, a pop of color might be nice and it might kind of bring things together. So there's some full boxes that we could use. Like, happy, it looks good. The best of days, I like that pink. Um, we also have these. Like, the pop of color is nice, but it adds to all the different colors we've got. I love this You Can, but I just feel like the colors are wrong for what I'm doing. We've got these ones, some random like boxes that have colored words on them. There were some quotes in here at one point. I'm not thinking of these ones. I'm thinking of these ones, but it's hard because they're just words. They're not quotes. And I'm like, why would I put beautiful on my page? Just the word beautiful. Maybe that's the name of my furniture store. Um, <laughs> beautiful furniture. And I love the typography, but it's just like, why? Like, why do I just have that one word kind of floating around in space? I gotta find something a little bit more engaging, maybe something that would fit into the sidebar. I think I have some older quotes, sticker books that I haven't touched in God knows how long. So I'm gonna go do some poking around there. I found this Happy Quotes book, which maybe will have something in it. I'm well aware that I've kind of created a monster with this spread, um, but we're going with it 
please don't tell me you hate it. I, I just don't want to know if you don't like it. Um, because I kind of do. Um, like it's a lot and it is a little overwhelming, but it, it's, it's something that makes me happy. Um, take time to make your soul happy. I feel like the colors work well with that. Okay, we're just going to place it as a test run and take a little look at that. I think that's a no-go on, on the take time to make your soul happy. I really should pick like just a solid black quote that would fit nicely up and down the sidebar, but I don't think I have any of those. And I probably should just use my, my sticker shop to make the, the things that I don't have. Um, like sidebar quotes being one of those things, but that would be too simple. Why would I, why would I solve my problems? The rest of these I think are full-size boxes, so that's not going to help me in any regard. Unless I want to put full-size boxes in here, and I don't think I want like solid chunks of like pattern. This is going to be a throwback. I have the one, two, three, four sticker book, and I think they named it at some point, but this copy is not named, so I can't tell you that. But be so good they can't ignore you. Steve Martin. This is what I'm looking for. This kind of sticker. And maybe it'll throw things out of whack because it's like heavy black lettering that I'm just going to stick over here in the sidebar. But I want it to fill up this space. I'm kind of centering it. I didn't want it like in line with all the boxes, but I think that works. And if I had like black text on all of these, then I think it would balance out well. Like when I add in the, the pen, if that makes sense to me. I'm gonna look for like maybe one other black lettered quote in that same style of type that I could put over on Sunday. I'm seeing you got this, which is probably a better option than hustling. Um, although I imagine you have to hustle hard if you run a <laughs> mid-century modern furniture store. We're just going to keep coming back to that plot device um, because that's what's really driving driving this video. Okay, we got, you got this. What do I got? I don't know, um, but we got something. And it's going to go over here on the weekend. I'm just going to white out this line so that it has a comfy little home amidst this couch and chair. I, should, I, I feel like I should mention, but you've probably already realized it, that this is another one of those middle of the night videos where I am just talking and <laughs> things are going in all sorts of directions. Uh, that's lopsided. I don't want it touching the couch. Get off my couch. Only throw pillows and cats allowed. Anyway, this is one of those weird videos. Some of you don't like weird videos, but... I am the one who owns the YouTube channel here, unfortunately. Uh, and you can mute me. I will not be offended if you mute me just to watch me place stickers. Um, okay, let's see what we got. You got this. Okay, that's a little lopsided. Um, I do wish it was maybe a little bit further to the right. Or maybe I just shouldn't have a quote over there all together. I think no quote altogether might be my best option. So my mind was like, if there's cats on the couches, maybe modern meow would help me out. And I don't think it will. But I just wanted to propose this idea that um, we had maybe there, or sorry, this sticker that says there's probably cat hair on this in reference to all of the furniture that I have set up so nicely at the bottom of the spread. Just, just throwing it out there. Um, I, I, I think it needs more color in these gold boxes, so I'm tempted to label them all kind of like I did with the goose spread, like that. Maybe that would add the pop of color that I need to kind of round things out, like a pink or a blue wouldn't be bad. I have all of my little label stickers, and I'm looking at them, and I feel like maybe yellow again. I feel like it'll bring the gold out and kind of tie everything together. The pink isn't quite an exact match for that, and the blue is not an exact match for that. So the yellow feels like a comfy middle ground to me. I don't want to repeat exactly what I did last week, but I, I feel like this is so much more different than geese. Um, so 
it should be fine. I'm really struggling with this spread. It, it is not going how I planned, um, but you know, it was one of those things where I was kind of on the fence in the beginning and we're just gonna see it through. Um, normally I will scrap videos that get to this point where I'm kind of frustrated with the, the overall spread, but I think I'm just gonna keep poking at it. Let's see how, how much worse I can make this. I'm taking the black quote off of the page because I feel like it was just too strong. I feel like I need to wrap this up because it's just getting to be too much. I have this last thing from Pipsticks. Uh, it came in one of my sticker subscription kits or the one sticker subscription kit I ordered. I'm not going to use those giant stickers, obviously, but I feel like these shapes are very mid-century modern and they match the color of these letters. So I'm going to cluster a few of these throughout, both at the top and in the, the furniture section. I'm going to use all of the colors, even though I think some of them are a little bright. And maybe, just maybe, this will be, bring the pieces together. Um, no, this one is too bright. Definitely too bright there. But the other two can stay. I don't really foresee myself using this giant stickers sticker at any point. So I don't have a, I don't have a problem using up all the little sparkles elsewhere. And you know I like my little sparkle stickers. So I'm going to put some up top. On, on top of the scrapbook paper and washi tape. And these don't feel like the most sticky stickers in the world. So I have a hunch that I might need to re-glue them with a glue pen at some point. They're staying decently. Um, I mean, it's a lot better looking than that quote that was over in the sidebar. And again, I think it really channels in that mid-century modern vibe. These are kind of like a weird texture. They're more papery than they are like vinyl. Um, a lot of the Pip Sticks stickers are like a vinyl material. And they're really high quality. I, I do recommend them. I think there are a lot of like really fun different like designs and aesthetics. But the, the Pip Sticks sticker subscription kit, I only ordered one month of it and then I canceled it. And not because I was disappointed in it. I, I did, I loved everything that I received in the sticker subscription kit, but just because I really don't need any more stickers and I was just interested in getting the deal that they had running, which was like 50% off your first subscription kit and it was New York themed. I think... And I'm, I'm pretty sure that I have like a unboxing video of the subscription kit somewhere on my YouTube channel. If you're interested in seeing more about what kind of things come in the subscription kit. And then I placed an order on my own from Pipsticks as well that had like some miscellaneous designs that weren't included in the subscription kit. But they were just things that I liked. Going to put some more up on the scrapbook paper. They get a little muted up there. Um, they blend into that really bold geometric pattern. But as long as there's touches of them in places other than like the bottom, I think it'll be fine. I'm using some smaller ones up here. I made the mistake of using all of my big sparkle stickers at the beginning of this like clustering process. Oh no, this one just... Okay, so that one is not gonna be usable. I ripped the like top layer off of the sticker and I'm trying to be very careful not to separate them out because I'm finding that they, they do kind of separate a little bit. This top layer separates from the sticky stuff underneath. Got just a few more. Saving all the bright orange ones for whenever I use this stickers sticker, um, which will probably be never. I, I just, don't ever foresee myself needing it. The, the typography is cute, but it's just not something that's my style. Taking all these tiny little sparkly stickers into the very corners of the spread to extend things outwards. 
I'll do the same over here in that corner. And I think I've used up all the ones in the color palette that I'm looking for. And then I know I'm going into happy plans. This is the last thing I want to do. I'm going to take these to kind of move the sidebar closer to the bottom. You know, that didn't make sense when I said it out loud, but I'm going to take these and do like the mid-century modern kind of layered look. So I'm putting them at like intersecting angles like this. I don't know if I want this one shorter or just like down ever so slightly. We'll start by down ever so slightly because there's not a lot of going back from cutting them, but you can reposition it if you do it like that. Oh, actually, I think I did something there. I think that's good. Um, and then I have two more that I could balance out part of it with on Sunday. I'm not going to do all of the strip this time around, but I'll use a little bit of it on Sunday to get some vertical action going on here. So instead of coming down from the top part, these ones are going to come up from the bottom. But I need to pre-cut them because they're going to be too big for the space. So I'll start here and just add a little bit of vertical in using this. This pink strip I don't think I want to do three over here. I think that would be too much. So this one's going to go back in the book. I know I keep saying like that would be too much after we've already created this monstrosity. Um, and then I think I just want like the shorter yellow one to go alongside the Sunday. Eh, it could be a little bit longer so I can cut down the full strip of it. And I'll place it on the page before I cut it so I can get an idea of where it actually needs to be cut. Somewhere around here. It doesn't look as good in isolation on, on that half of the spread, but I think when viewing it as a whole, it does balance it out a little bit. <laughs> it's a lot. I know. I know it's a lot. I think I've salvaged it to a place where it's fine. It's not the best thing in the world, obviously, but I think I've salvaged it and it's usable. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this back on the discs and do not let me touch this anymore. <laughs> do not let me. So I think I'm gonna officially title this spread Mid-Century Monstrosity. Um, it's a lot all at once and you know, it could have gone a lot better, but I'm just going to leave it at this. I think it's fun to kind of experiment with things outside of my comfort zone. And sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. And sometimes you even see them on YouTube. Um, but I'm going to call this good and I'm not going to speak to it much more because I think it speaks for itself. I hope you enjoyed the anecdotes about furniture because that's really the only redeeming quality of this video. Well, there you go. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me over on Instagram at Caitlin Plans where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching and happy planning.